Hi viewers, have you ever thought what is in this digital cryptocurrency? In today's video, we are going to look into how Bitcoin works, simplified explanation. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin, introduced in 2009 by Satoshi Nakamoto, is the first successful decentralized cryptocurrency and payment system in history. Cryptocurrencies are digital assets that are protected and validated through cryptography, often recorded using blockchain technology on computers dispersed worldwide. Bitcoin can be divided into smaller units called Satoshis and used as a form of payment. Since its launch, the price of a single Bitcoin has significantly grown from less than a penny to tens of thousands of dollars. Decentralized cryptocurrencies are broadly dispersed without a single centralized location or governing body, allowing users to trade value directly over a peer-to-peer -peer network. This enables smooth sending and receiving of Bitcoin payments, as well as the sharing and storing of data. The Bitcoin network is open to the public, allowing participation from anyone with an internet connection and a device that can connect to it. The source code that formed the foundation of Bitcoin is publicly accessible and open source. Bitcoin can be compared to the internet for money, as it is entirely digital, owned and operated by no one entity, borderless, operates around the clock, and facilitates data sharing between users. Bitcoin is essentially an internet currency that anyone with access to the internet can contribute to creating, securing, and using to make direct payments without the need for a bank. Bitcoin as an alternative to fiat currency. With the intention of making Bitcoin a universally recognized form of legal cash that individuals could use to make purchases of goods and services, Nakamoto first created it as a substitute for conventional money. However, the volatility of Bitcoin's price has hindered its usefulness for payments in various ways. The amount that an asset's price fluctuates over time is referred to as its volatility. When it comes to payment options, Bitcoin isn't the best choice because of its price volatility, which may vary significantly day to day and even minute to minute. For instance, you wouldn't want to spend $3.50 on a cup of coffee when it becomes worth $4.30 after five minutes. On the other side, if the price of Bitcoin drops significantly after the coffee is delivered, retailers also lose out. Since there is a fixed amount of Bitcoin meaning that new ones cannot be generated at will and its price is unpredictable, it functions somewhat differently from traditional money. It is also neither regulated or issued by a central bank. The key to comprehending Bitcoin is being aware of these distinctions. How does Bitcoin work? Bitcoin is a decentralized payment system consisting of three components the Bitcoin network, the native cryptocurrency, and the Bitcoin blockchain. The Bitcoin network operates on a peer-to-peer -peer network, allowing users to execute and validate transactions without intermediaries. Users can download the public ledger, which records all historical Bitcoin transactions using blockchain technology. This technology allows for immutability and transparency in cryptocurrency transactions, crucial for a payment system that relies on zero trust. The Bitcoin blockchain is a digital string of chronologically ordered blocks that contain Bitcoin transaction data. However, validating transactions and mining are separate processes, and an explosion in Bitcoin transactions does not necessarily increase the rate at which miners find new blocks. Bitcoin is programmed to allow new blocks to be added to the blockchain approximately once every 10 minutes. The public nature of the blockchain allows all network participants to track and assess Bitcoin transactions in real time, reducing the possibility of double spending. Double spending occurs when a user tries to spend the same cryptocurrency twice. Traditional banking systems prevent double spending by having reconciliation performed by a central authority, but Bitcoin requires consensus among all users to confirm and update the balances of all Bitcoin holders. This consensus is achieved through a process known as proof of work which ensures that the Bitcoin network achieves consensus even with countless copies of the public ledger stored worldwide. What is proof of work? Proof of work, POW, is a consensus mechanism used by Bitcoin computers to validate transactions and secure the network. It is the most common type of consensus mechanism for cryptocurrencies running on blockchains with proof of stake, POS, being less energy consuming. Proof of work elevates certain network contributors to the role of validators or miners after dedicating significant computing power to discovering new blocks, a process that typically takes around 10 minutes. When a new block is discovered, the successful miner fills it with one megabyte of validated transactions, adding it to the chain and updating everyone's ledger. 
In exchange, the miner is allowed to keep any fees attached to the transactions they add and receive a new Bitcoin, known as a block reward. All Bitcoin users pay a network fee each time they send a transaction, with the goal of matching or exceeding the average fee paid by other network participants to ensure timely processing. Miners prioritize transactions with the highest fees to make the most money when filling new blocks. The average fees can be viewed on the Bitcoin mempool, a waiting room where unconfirmed transactions are held until they are selected and added to the blockchain by miners. How is Bitcoin created? Bitcoin mining is a process that adds transactions to the blockchain and mints new Bitcoin by solving complex mathematical problems using powerful, specialized computer hardware. The total supply of Bitcoin has a cap of 21 million coins, meaning once the number in circulation reaches 21 million, the protocol will stop minting new coins. Bitcoin mining doubles as both the transaction validation and the Bitcoin issuance process. Increasing computing power dedicated to Bitcoin mining does not necessarily mean more Bitcoins are mined. It only increases the chances of being rewarded with the next block. So the amount of Bitcoin mined remains relatively stable over time. The Bitcoin network uses a coin distribution strategy known as Bitcoin halving to ensure that the amount distributed to miners reduces over time. A Bitcoin halving occurs every 210,000 blocks or roughly four years, and block rewards have decreased from 12.5 BTC in May 2020 to 6.25 BTC in 2021. Today, there are over 18.7 million BTC in circulation, with only 2.25 million BTC left to enter circulation. However, considering the halving principle and other network factors like mining difficulty, it is estimated that the last Bitcoin will be mined around the year 2140. Bitcoin mining is not easy, as it is extremely energy intensive, leading to high electricity costs and substantial heat generation. Additionally, there is a substantial upfront investment in equipment, and profitability is not guaranteed due to the volatile nature of Bitcoin's price and increasing mining difficulty. Despite these risks, Bitcoin mining can be potentially profitable for those with the right setup and understanding of the risks. What is a Bitcoin wallet? A Bitcoin wallet is a software program that secures, sends, and receives Bitcoin, storing cryptographic keys that prove ownership of a specific amount of Bitcoin on the Bitcoin network. The wallet's functionality allows for the transfer of ownership from the sender to the recipient, with the recipient's keys designated as the new password for accessing the Bitcoin. Bitcoin uses public key cryptography, PKC, to preserve the integrity of its blockchain, allowing only individuals with the right set of keys to access specific coins. Two types of keys are required for Bitcoin transactions, a private key and a public key. The blockchain uses a one-way mathematical algorithm to create a public key from the private key, making it nearly impossible to regenerate. A public address, a hashed form of the private key, is shared to receive Bitcoin. To execute transactions, users must use their private and public keys and include the recipient's public address, ensuring only the right private key can unlock or claim the transferred Bitcoin. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and leave a comment in the comment section below.